Hey everyone, welcome to Season 1, Episode 3 of Vault Hunters. I'm Nethercloud, and I've got a bit of a treat for you guys right off the bat here. You'll notice what, what's in my hand is our very first piece of vault gear. Uh, we were tidying up this area. It's looking quite nice, isn't it? And it's a lot quieter. Uh, turns out I hadn't updated to the most recent version, which is why we couldn't get the animal pen blocks. But I did that. And then I dropped the villagers down here in this hole so it was a little easier to walk around and resorted the farms. And after doing all that stuff, I was like, you know what? Let's just run a real quick vault, you know? Oh, shoot. We're, ro we're rolling it. We're rolling it. Um... There it is. Actually, I was just meaning to click on the vault to, to point at it, but there are the leggings. Look at that. Oh my god, they're common. And they're they're blue. Okay, okay. So, 5 armor, 515 durability, 5% crit resistance. Nice. 3 health, so that'll be 1.5 hearts, thorns, and soulbound. Well, uh, like I said, uh, I, I was I was just gonna point at the vault. The story I was I meant to tell when I was gonna click like like this, you know, like oh look at look over there. Uh, I'm a, I'm a little clumsy sometimes. Don't mind me. It, it even translates to the games. But what uh, what I was gonna say is I wanted to round out the evening with a vault, and I wound up grabbing our first piece of vault gear. Which is right there. And these uh, little mystery boxes and relic booster pack. So that, that was the treat. Yes, it was. Uh, rolling the vault leggings. That's phenomenal. Uh, the durability is a little on the low side, I think. But much, much more of an improvement over our nether uh, leggings. So let's, uh, let's, while we're here, use the relic booster pack. Boop. Nothing. Didn't really expect anything. And now the mystery boxes. Boop. Meh. Boop. All right. I mean, we've got plenty of diamonds and emeralds and villagers, so I'm not overly worried about it. Let's, uh, let's put this stuff away, and you'll notice I already have a vault crystal made up. We're going to go right into a vault. Of course we are. So let me sort my inventory out, and let's do this with our new leggings. I'm so excited, guys. Let's go. Here it is. Trying out our new leggings. Where the heck are we? Um, this is definitely not a vault. This, this looks like some sort of skyblock world? Uh, looks like Okay, yeah, we've got uh, the makings of a mob grinder down there. Enchanting. Farms. Uh, villagers and practice dummies. I think our best bet for clues is probably going to be over here. Uh, this looks like essentially a main storage and work area. I, I, I hate to be nosy, guys, but we, we got to poke around to figure out what's going on. I I have no idea what happened, and there doesn't appear to be anybody else here to ask questions. Ooh, nice nice loot and gear. Excellent, excellent. Um, man, I really hate to read somebody's diary, but uh, I think that's the only way we're gonna get some answers. So. Uh, Hope there's nothing gross in here. Uh, here goes nothing. Nether, if you are reading this, it means that I was correct about the vault portal's power causing fluctuations in the energy field that stabilizes the multiverse. When I woke in this strange void world, there was nothing to speak of other than the vault portal and these strange growing crystals. It was easy enough to surmise their function, but there was no indication of what horrors may lie within. Soon enough, the fear gave way to my hunger, and I decided to risk going through the portal. Completely enclosed with no alternate exit, but teeming with valuable resources and extraordinary riches, these vaults seem to be the sole means of survival here. With the basics of life sustained, I turned to my research on the vault portal. Maybe there was a way out. I'm sorry to say that my way out was most likely your way in. The variables are impossible to calculate, but I theorized that if things lined up in just the right way, there could be a temporary opening which would allow for one to move between realities. 
I couldn't be sure that there would be an equal exchange and force an alternate version of myself here, but I wrote this text just in case. I've left gear and supplies so that you may survive and flourish here. Study the vaults. I will be doing the same wherever I am now. Perhaps together we can find a way for all of us to transcend this madness. Good luck and don't jump. Death works differently here. Don't ask me how I know, but trust me, it is not the way out that you may think it to be. May the vault gods be kind to you, Nethercloud. That's, uh, that's kind of a lot to take in. But I guess we traveled through some temporal event horizon and landed in an alternate reality. Uh, I'm... I'm not even going to try to wrap my head around the specifics. Other Nether said he left us stuff uh, and to study the vaults. So I think since we were going to vault anyway, uh, that's what we do. So I'm going to poke around in these chests a little bit, uh, see what gear uh, Other Nether left us. And maybe we build, maybe we vault, but uh, let me take a little inventory here. Now, don't we look fancy in our vault gear? Other Nether uh, apparently did quite the grinding and vaulting. Uh, this is a full set of gear, and we even have enchantments on the helmet. Uh, I guess when there's nothing else to do but vault, you vault. I noticed that uh, the other gear does have a severe lacking in, in shiny shiny, so we're going to have to get our enchantment on. It looks like this is pretty fresh. He must have just pulled it before the vaults sent us through the dimensional blender. So we'll get those enchanted up, and I was poking around in the chests a little bit too. Seems we're a little shy of rotten flesh, and the mob grinder is uh, less than functional. So... We've got a few projects that Other Nether left us, which is fine. I mean, the guy left us with a whole bunch of riches and some, some really awesome gear. So I, I guess we could do a little work to earn our place, right? So let's, uh, let's get that all sorted so we can go in and do some choppy choppy. Mob farm. Sorted. Improved villager trading area with additional slots and lighting, also sorted. Blinky eyeball thing, sorted. Enchanted gear, also sorted, with the bonus of a new chest piece. I went into one of the, uh, we'll call them farming vaults, the ones made from these growing crystals, and was looking for some materials and kind of accidentally just completed it and got this chess piece as a reward. Uh, thought it was pretty good, so I threw some unbreaking on it. And uh, yeah, that turned out great. First big boy vault crystal from moving through the dimensional rift. Sorted yet again. Let's toss a little junk out of our inventory and uh, head on into the vault, shall we? Like Other Nether said, let's hope those vault gods are kind to us. Okay, we're entering a vault and our entrance is facing north. I've gotten pretty good at understanding the layouts, so I'm not even going to lay down torches. Uh, we're just going to loot and see how far we can get. I don't think I'm ready to try the new obelisk mechanics, uh, especially since I don't have any additional ways to heal other than my low-level heal spell. So we'll see what kind of loot's in here, but I think we're going to skip the obelisks this time around. Awesome. Knowledge. Ooh. 
Vault gems are absolutely essential in this mod pack. What is this thing? I think this is one of the new, uh... Okay, so we're close to the portal room. Let's just little, little bit of greed. Let's just dip our nose a little bit west here. Okay, this is what we were looking for. Something reasonably easy. If we can grab this living, be super stoked. Knowledge is power. I think that ought to do it. That was a great vault. Let's get out of here and uh, check out what the loot total was. That's some pretty decent experience. So let's just go over here and uh, sort out our loot. The great thing about this mod pack, if you hold down shift and click that, it just puts in what goes there. So that's fantastic. And then uh, same thing up here a little bit. We can do that a couple of times. Now we've got some pretty decent stuff in here, but let's just get all the basics sorted back in. With our goodies sorted out, let's open up these relic booster packs and these mystery boxes and see what we got. Booster packs first. Nothing. And mystery boxes, fingers crossed. Eh. Ooh. Echo gem. Echo gem. Look at the shiny. That was uh, way more profitable than I thought it would be just by getting those two Echo Gems. That's, that's wonderful. We're going to need a lot of those later on for our endgame builds. Uh, this is starting to look like a pretty respectable amount of loot in here. We've got the basics up here. I'm pretty excited for what we've got in store in the future. And the recent updates to the vault have been amazing. The new rooms are great. I'm going to hop into my weekly stream. If you guys ever want to join me over there, I'm at twitch.tv slash nethercloud. And I'm going to be doing some vaults over there. So I'll catch up with you guys on the other side and give you a rundown of uh, what we pulled together. And then we'll do a little bit more work together as well. One last thing before I go. That vault and the one I did yesterday in the farming vault actually netted us enough Beniatite that we got our first ever knowledge star. And I wanted to place the point with you guys before I got on stream. I've thought a lot about this, so let's roll it. There we go. We've got our very first knowledge point, and after much, much deliberation and thought, it's got to be pouches. Pouches gets us more loot. More loot gets us more loot. So let's get it. I'm going to craft a couple of these bad boys up, head out on that stream, and when I get back, I'm going to show you guys a mountain of loot. Or a mountain of disappointment. But we're, we're going to hope for the former. A full day of running vaults has absolutely netted us that mountain of loot that we were hoping for. It was a wonderful experience, and the new mining update is just great. So we were able to get a lot done in there, uh, including get enough together to make a repair core so that we could fix our vault helmet, which was great because we haven't found anything better than this just yet. So being able to put that repair core on there and keep it in action really helped us get through all the vaults. You'll also notice that we have two unspent knowledge points and we're up to level nine in our vault level. With our vault level, I decided that we would go into speed and haste. And with that, we're getting 
through the vaults a lot more efficiently. We're hitting up more rooms because we're getting through them quicker, and we're knocking out the spawners and mobs a lot faster because we're swinging our arms quick with haste. Over on the knowledge front, though, I'm, I'm not sure. I know I say this a lot. I really am not sure what to go into. Cagerium and botany pots are very tempting for their ability to produce the resources we're going to need, but each one locks the other out by 12. The big mods are all so juicy, but also six research points, and they all have their own specialty. So if we decide to go with one of them and something pops up on the altar that the other one is good at, we're kind of, you know stuck getting into a real big grind instead of just going down the path that makes things easy. Storage, as you guys know, is definitely a, a big thing in my life. The storage in my other world that I've been in for a couple of years is just out of control for a vanilla storage system. And I'd really like to get into the modded stuff. Unfortunately, at the moment, it's not possible, as far as I know, to get your hands on the meteorite materials you need for applied energistics so we're probably going to go into either refined storage or some combination of the others to get our storage done and i, I am absolutely loving pouches if you guys want to see what i've got set up here we've got these two set to auto collect with their magnets and this one's got a few things in it still that i've got to sort out and then we've got one set on our backpack slot over here that we can hit B. And I have a few things in here for tools. And this one is set to not auto pick up. So if we need to put anything aside real quick, we can put it in here and get access to it. Or we could use it for item overflow if these two get filled up. Plus I have an empty shulker that I'm bringing and another shulker that's got some other accessories that I may or may not want to keep in a shulker or put into the backpack. But I'll make that decision later. We've got a recycler now, and I know you guys are anxious to check out the loot. So here is our gem and blessing chest. Uh, we've got quite a nice stockpile of Laramar going, which is great because there's a lot of stuff we're going to need to build out of that. And we managed to find another two Echo Gems during the day. So we're making some really good progress on gems. Uh, some of the Pay Knight had to go into that repair core, so we're a little short on that for now. But I have faith we'll be able to find a whole bunch more. And the fact that we're up to nine Black Opals already is just a great thing because we're going to need quite a few of those moving down one this is our stockpile of the more basic vault gear the driftwood chromatic iron plating etc as well as the chromatic steel because this is kind of like the uh metal and wood chest so to speak for the vault gear down here we got all the other vault gear all of our hunter's eyes vault meat diamonds now we're low on silk because it went into making all these pouches, and I'm very okay with that decision. Because, like I said, they've made it uh, a, a pleasure to go through and loot everything. So that's kind of what we're looking at as far as loot goes. We do have some more stuff over here, like ores. And, you know, I picked up a few little bits and pieces of redstone as we went along as well. In addition to all the wonderful loot, uh, I also decided after I started losing vaults to go out and do some grinding in the overworld. I wanted to make sure that we got rabbits so that we could get more pouches. And since we were getting animals anyway, I decided rainbow sheep and the rest of the basics. Uh, the dogs were just kind of an incidental. I don't think there's anything from them that we need for the altar, but hey, they were there and we had an extra bottle. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have been able to get rabbits to spawn anywhere other than a desert, but that was the best place for me, and now we've got a whole bunch of them, so we can make as many pouches as we need. And I think there's a few more things we need, like bees and whatnot, but that'll have to come another time because, dear God, this, this took a while, and I, I, I'm good with waiting on getting all the rest of that done. We've also been grabbing a bunch of resources going into the raw crystal vaults and just annihilating rooms so that we can start expanding the platform. This place is absolutely fantastic and I'm loving it, but we're quickly running out of room with all of the spots around the outer edges. So I think it's time that we work on expansion and working towards our eventual end game build plans. 
Uh, I've got a big imagination, so I'm not going to make any promises right now because I feel like I'm going to have to scale back uh, the old the old dream tank upstairs just a wee bit to make it more manageable. But it's going to be a fun one. So that'll have to come next time because we're uh, we're out of time for this episode. It, it goes very, very quick. Vaults are super fun, and I'd love to try and tack on a building project, but we all know how my brain works, and that'll go from, hey, let's build for a couple of hours to a week and a half more delay of this episode coming out. So before I do that to myself and to you guys, I'm going to bid you adieu. I hope that you all have a marvelous day and evening or whatever it is, wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Be well. (laughs) 